Hi, this is Spencer again from St. Petersburg, Florida. And today I'm going to show you a couple of things. First thing is the basic setup of the, the accent wall, the wallpapering accent wall. So let me just show you the wall. Look at this. First of all, look at this beautiful paint job here. No, I did not do it, I must admit. But look at that perfect cut. Just about, it's almost perfect. But uh, it's actually a beautiful, uh, beautiful, beautiful job. Anyway, this is the basic setup. So, when you're doing an accent wall or any wall that you wallpaper, you want to have protection on the surrounding walls and floor. So, at the very bottom, you see this paper? Okay. This is 8-inch masking paper that's put on with a 3M hand masker. I've shown you that in other videos. This is the hand masker. And the, the paper is on a spool. It comes off. It's, it's pretty handy. So, you want to protect the woodwork because when you're pressing down on the paper, the glue is coming out of the paper. And, you know, it's, it's unprofessional if you have if you're just wiping off somebody's woodwork. You'd rather catch it on, on paper that will absorb the glue. That's first off. Secondly, now you see this, this beautiful eggshell coat here? The only tape that will stay on that without ripping it off is frog tape. So now you see this yellow tape here? This is yellow frog tape. And uh, the yellow frog tape is, let me show you the uh, package it comes in. So, see it says for delicate surfaces. This isn't cheap, but you want to get it if you're using tape and you're looking to protect a freshly painted wall. In fact, you really have to, uh, you can't put tape on a freshly painted wall. So you want to put it on a wall that has been cured. And in some cases, it pulls off the paint with, with the underlayment of plaster. So now, am I going to protect these walls? Of course, but I'm not putting it on yet because the longer that tape is on, the harder it is to get off. I have to make a decision as to whether I'm, I'm either going to use it because I, want to, I, want to, I don't want to pull the guy's paint off. At the ceiling? Uh, we'll show you how uh, you just don't get glue on the ceiling. You fold the top of the piece of paper, and then when you're up there, no glue gets on the ceiling because the top of the paper is folded. And see this part of my fingers? It's dry there. So that's what's touching. And when you cut it, you pull that part out, and then you have the, the glued part of the paper sticking against the wall. Now, as far as drop cloths go, I have a 4x12 drop cloth, and underneath it is a barrier of plastic. I got this at Harbor Freight for about 18 bucks. This is from HDT Sherwin-Williams. This is a very nice portable drop, and uh, so you don't have to bend a lot. You just kick it, on, not on a carpet, but on... Uh, you know, regular hardwood floor or tile floor, you just kick it along and it moves all in one piece. It's pretty, pretty handy. Last thing I want to show you is you don't want to be getting glue inside somebody's gang boxes or fixture, fixture boxes. If you can't see it, this is tape. So you put that over there to protect the wetness from getting inside of the electrical and also from your glue from contaminating the, the, uh, the, the fixture covers. So that's the basic setup. Now, what did I put on this wall? This wall was a flat paint or a matte finish. So, now can you wallpaper over that and will the wallpaper stick? Absolutely. That's why people are not having wallpaper done anymore. They're, they don't know much about hanging paper, so they're seeing that the wallpaper doesn't come down easily. When grandma took it down, it pulled down the walls. When my aunt took it down to pull down their walls, the reason for that is because people do not know how to prepare the walls, for the most part, from what I see. They don't know how to do it. So, 
So I want to show you because I had to learn too. See this product here? This is uh, the, the company Roman is probably the finest company that supplies every need that you might have for wallpaper preparation. So it says problem solving sealer and primer for porous surfaces. So what that does is the best way I could describe it is that it provides a membrane between your substrate, which is the wall or whatever surface onto which you're putting the wallpaper and, and the glue. So it's protection between your wall and the glue because the glue, once it's dry, will attach to the wallpaper. And when you pull off the wallpaper, you'll have pretty clean walls. You just have to sponge them down. And what I just found out from reading this is that you can put this back onto the wall after you pull off the wallpaper and this will seal in the residual glue. You'd have to sand the wall off first because, you know, it's flaky. So after you sand it, you could put this back on it and it dries clear and uh, you have, you're ready to paint. So here's my wall. This is the last stage of the prep. My wall has a uh, very generous a clear coat of this glazing. Again, it's Pro 99 RX 35. And so now it's, it's dry. I put it on about a half an hour ago and uh, it's, it's ready to go. We're ready to go. So this is, this is the first step of the, uh, your basic accent wall. We'll call this uh, accent wall uh, step one, the preparation. Okay, see you on the next clip.